This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to the Sweet Stuff Going Mobile. This week, I'm going to begin part one of a two-part series on my personal 10 favorite free photo applications on the iPhone. So I'm going to share them with you, five this week, the last five next week. So let's get started. First up is Dash of Color. Now what this does is it takes a photo. So you can see here, we'll choose a picture. Go in here, and I'm going to pick the same picture. Now if you notice, that was a color picture. And what it does is it strips all the color out and makes it black and white. So you can tap Tools, you can pick Gray, tap Color. I will tap Tools again, do Brush Size. You see the slider down here makes the brush size larger or smaller. Now I can swipe my finger across and you see the green of the moss right there. But everything else will stay black and white. Then you can save your image, save to the album, and your original image is intact. Up next is Camera Plus. This is the free version. There's even more power in the pay version. Tap on this button here. Double tap to crop. Go over here to the world icon. I can share my pictures easily with Facebook or Flickr, upload it, and it's saving to the camera roll. Lots of cool things to explore with this, and the pay version is just loaded with options. But this one's free. Up next is Photo Captions Free. This also has a paid version, which offers even more features. But you can see you have card templates, saved photos, new photos. Here again, we're going to pick the same one. Now it brings it up. It has it in landscape mode. There's not much I can do about that, but we'll... Take a frame, pick one. So now we have our frame put in tech. You can easily tap share. You can share on Facebook, email, save your images. You can insert text. Very nicely done. Up next is Flickr. I personally have a Flickr account. You can log into your Flickr account by tapping U. What it does is it launches Safari on the iPhone lets you log into your account. I'm going to do that now. And then when you log into your Flickr account, it gives you all of the things that the program can do. You can either authorize it or not authorize it. It allows you to access your Flickr account, upload, edit, and replace photos, delete photos, interact. So you say authorize. Now you go back to the program. You can look at pictures that other people have taken. This is by Aussie Gal. You can see recent pictures that you've put up. Lots more. A great way to access your Flickr account from your iPhone. And last up for this week is Crop for Free. This is an excellent program, very easy to use. You can crop multiple times before you save the image. And you see they make it easy when it comes up choose the picture. All right, well, we're going to pick our sample picture here, rock wall in Ireland. And then you can tap the crop symbol. Just take your finger. So when you select an image, you just tap, hold your finger down. I'm holding mine down in the lower left corner on that little red angle and just moving it towards the center. You can see it getting smaller. Now I can put my finger in the center of that, move it back to focus on this part of the wall. So it's very good for getting one person out of a group photo and so on. You can rotate things 90 degrees left. So these are five of my 10 favorite free photo apps for the iPhone. I'll do the remaining five next week. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll join me next week. I'll be back then. And for all the sweet stuff, stay right here on Butterscotch.com. Hey, this is Doc. I know a lot of you watch my show, so if you'd like to show your support, head on over to Hover.com slash sweet stuff and get domains for 10% off. You show your support, Hover is easy to use, and lets you get domain names and make the most out of them. Thanks.